Now that your meeting has started, let's talk about how you control the room and engage in the meeting. Let's start with the room console. On the console, you'll see information about your meeting, like the name, the time, the organizer, and whether or not it's being recorded. Most of the controls you see on the console align with those on the desktop experience. From the room console, you can select the layout of people and content visible on the front of room displays. You can select from video gallery only, video gallery and content or content only, together mode, and our newest layout, front row, which is specifically designed for hybrid meetings, bringing the video gallery to eye level and surrounding the meeting content with other relevant experiences that keeps everyone in the room informed and included in every aspect of the meeting. On the right side of the console, you can see and manage the full participant roster. You can scroll through to see who is there, invite more people, or request that somebody invited to the meeting join now. If someone in the meeting has raised their hand, you'll see them listed at the very top of the roster, and of course in a prominent location on the front of room screen as well. If someone forgot to mute and is making some noise, you can mute them. And if they're really misbehaving, you can even kick them out of the meeting. You can also use the console to pin specific participants to the front of room screen or spotlight them so everyone in the meeting can focus just on them. I'm gonna pin Joanna to our front of room screen and we'll spotlight Lee so everyone in the meeting can see Lee's presentation clearly. These are great for larger presentations, all hands meetings, or education settings. At the bottom of your console screen is the utility bar. This is where you'll control your room's audio and video settings, turning the volume up or down, muting the room's microphone, or turning the room's camera on and off. And for rooms with multiple cameras, selecting which camera view you want to bring into the meeting can all be done from the console. It's a complete control device for your meeting room. Raising your hand and reacting to others in the meeting can be done here as well, just as you would from your own personal device, except now you're raising the virtual hand of the room and reacting on behalf of everyone in the room. For some rooms, the console may be in the middle of a large table and out of reach. So we wanted to put these controls right in everyone's hands. People in the meeting room can use the room remote feature in the Teams mobile app, giving every person in the room their own control device. From this app, you can control the room audio and video, manage the attendee list, turn on live captions, navigate PowerPoint slides, and even share content from your own device, all without ever leaving your seat. 